Yo guys, it's Jess here and welcome back to the Road to Glory episode number 10. We're starting this off with an SBC Home League Heroes, completely challenging, featuring the play, players playing in their domestic league. So we will go ahead and open this. I have pre-filled this out. You need two players, England, English from the Premier League, two Spanish players from the Liga, two German players from the Bundesliga, five nationalities, all gold, Team Chemistry 95, and you get one premium gold players pack. There you go. I spent around 3k on that. I needed to buy the left back and the right back. That is another SBC completed. Now we're going to go open, uh, go into a mini pack opening at 3,700 FIFA points. Going to go and open them, and then we are going to go and complete Division 10 and see how we get on in that. We're going to start with the premium gold players pack. What are we going to get? Are we going to get boards? Are we going to get our first one to watch? Maybe an icon? We do get boards. What's it going to be? It's a regular. It's Argentinian. It's a centre-back. Manchester City. Otter Mendy. Now, that is not bad at all. More than likely going to say my centre-backs that I'm running with at the moment, Rudiger and Matip, are absolutely fantastic. We get De Mayo, Kadamuro, Clichy... And that will do very nice. We've got a Kapu in there as well. What are we going to be selling you for? You are going for around 4k, Mr. Otamendi. So there we go. On the transfer market he goes. That will hopefully push us up to 218,000 coins. Still don't know what to do with them yet. Possibly going to pick up another couple of players as I don't know why I'm going that way. So let's go and jump into the packs. Have we got any promo packs we haven't? The new team of the week is out. I wouldn't mind that Flaney. I wouldn't mind that De Bruyne. Let's see what we get in our first pack. We are not getting boards. We are getting a rare player. That's always nice. Come on, what are we getting? It's... Is that Muriel? No, it's a patter. thought it was Muriel. Wouldn't have minded a Muriel there. Very nice card to pick up there. It's out of Stamford Bridge. I will try and sell that. Everything else can go into the club. Um, in fact, actually, going forward, I'm just going to get rid of the, keep the players uh, and the contracts, but as we don't get a rare or a rare player this time, um, all the players, but all the kits and everything, we will quick sell. I know it's in the minimal coins. Ooh, nice. Um, that can go. I'm going to keep that Legion United kit. It's a nice kit. Redeem the thousand coins. Put that youth on at the transfer market. We only get 51 coins, but it's 51 coins. All the same, and by the looks of it, Ottomendi has sold us at 219,000 coins. As we go into pack number two, we don't get boards, but we do get rare players. Come on, EA, give us something nice. A Jesus and Martial, it's from Torino. Left wing, it's Lajic. I've probably butchered his name, but hey, um, 79 rated. We'll get a Vasquez as well. How much are you selling for? Everything else can go into the club. How much are you selling for? 82 rated. Okay. Stick him in the club. You never know. Everything else can be quick sold. So let's go into the next pack. Come on here. Give us something worthwhile. Nothing in this pack. But it's rare players. Martial would be nice. Jesus would be nice. Striker. Musa. No, he can't he, 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 God damn it, EA. I forgot he's at Leicester at the minute. But, again, is he going to be worth anything? We get Crescito as well. Max Ben 10k. He's going for 1.3. He can go in the club. So can all of this. I will get rid of all that. So 128 coins. Also, any rare gold managers. I am going to quick sell because they sell quick sell for about 200 coins. Are we going to get a board? We aren't. And it's a non-rare in this one. Still waiting for our first one to watch. To come, we get Williams, Zambano, and I'm not going to take that. Ev Ooh, that's a nice kit. I'll take that. And everything else can be quick sold. So, guys, as you would have seen in the clip before, we have finished the Home Leagues SBC. That has been done. Didn't really get a lot from the packs, but that was done on Wednesday. The last time I did actually record... And the last thing we recorded was this Division 10 gameplay. Yes, we're only in Division 10 at this point. This was record all recorded on Wednesday. It's now Sunday morning. It's 2.35 in the morning. And I've just finished the squad battles games for them. As you can see, we've gone 1-0 up early on. And our opponent gets a nice equaliser there. Again, there's a lot of lag in this game as Doombia makes it 1-1. Um, but yeah, all the squad battle games are finished. You will see them up until... 
the first set of games on Sunday. Um, you'll see that all in this video. And you'll see two division games as we go 2-1 up, as we get a nice little ball through to Vardy. I don't know how the defender trips himself up there, but we do make it 3-1 with Adam Milana in the 25th minute as we go in to a nice healthy lead. But our opponent has other ideas as he gets a nice through ball there to Gelson Martins and what a rip that was and he puts himself back in the game and the Portuguese league team that we are playing I want to make one very similar for purpose built for squad battles so I can rest the EPL team just for online just for weekend league and daily knockouts and what a goal that is there from Jamie Vardy making it 4-2 in the 39th minute now I always felt that we could beat this guy but he did give us a game as he makes it 4-3 there. A lovely through ball, a lovely low driven shot, gets past the keeper. And again, the game as well and truly on in the 59th minute. In the 79th minute, we do get a lovely bit of play there. I don't know how, I think it's Klassen, does manage to squeeze that in. The first header was missed by Matip, I think it was. And Klassen gets the half volley into the back of the net to make it... 5-3 and the game does finish 6-3 um, the last goal was just a sloppy own goal there was no need to put that in um, and we do take the three points from the game and we do move on into our next game then you'll just see the confirmation of the points now so they win 6-3 and we do move on into a promotion place now we're going for the title we come up against a good team here three at the back jesus rashford katini Zaha, Firmino, which now the one yama davidson sanchez vertonghen uh, olive wild and de gea and i thought okay here we go we're up for a good scrappy game it's going to be a tough game it's going to be a lot of counters from this guy and i'm going to struggle with the pressure from his team but three minutes in we get a lovely sprint on there from rashford who is, as you can guess, making it 1-0. Shouldn't have been, shouldn't have made such a meal of that shot, but he did make quite a meal of it. But we do go 1-0 up inside of five minutes. Again, the three at the back did really catch this guy out. As we get the ball through with Rashford, no one's catching Rashford up. We get the low driven finesse shot into the back of it to put us 2-0 up. Only two minutes later, and we are looking like we're going to run away with this game. Again, Rashford slots one home, 3 0. 11 minutes in, this guy was all out of sorts, and I thought at this point he's going to rage quit. He's going to go, he's going to give us the pro title. Again, Rashford runs through the defenders, slots it past De Gea, and De Gea was a goalkeeper I did want to pick up in the series. But after this game, I'm kind of thinking I'll stick with Edison. We're at 4 0 now. Rashford again. Takes, I think it's Alder Wild out of the game there and slots it home to make it a 5 now. It's the Rashford show. Five goals in 15 minutes for Marcus Rashford. I paid 35k for this guy and it was the best 35k I've spent on this. And apart from the team that I've actually purchased, it's my main team, I've not actually bought any players in. I've put everything that is pack pulled. Um, I've got a Bundesliga team which I'm going to show you later in the week I believe um, that I might be turning into my squad battles teams but he does get one back there a nice shot there I think that was from Jesus or his Rashford it was his Rashford to make it 5-1 in 21 minutes and I thought okay he's got a consolation goal but again lovely through ball there from Rashford body is one on one and he goes past it Rashford does get the collection of the rebound, but that was me trying to be cocky, go around the keeper, but we did get the goal. 6-1 in 26 minutes, and again, Rashford to Mane. We did bring Mane because we've already got injured, and slots at home for 7-1. Mane is on. Again, a well-worth investment Mane was. I'm glad that I did bring him in. Bad pass from his defenders there does give Rashford the ball as Rashford nets his seventh goal of the game. Marcus Rashford absolutely running away from this. Now, a bit of sloppy defending again from us, but we do manage to retain the ball as Marnie is just going to absolutely burn these guys for pace. There you go, absolutely through the middle of them and slot to him. 9 1, 43 minutes. I'm thinking, okay, he's going to go to half time and then he's going to quit. He'll rage quit in. 
for the half time, but did he? Did he boot? He went the whole way, and I thought, oh my god, this is going to be an absolute score fest. And it was as Marcus Rashford lays the ball off to Lallana. Lallana goes through, shoots, he scores, and that's 10 1. 10 goals from us in the first half, one from him. And it's just ridiculous as we're into the second half. Marnie gets another finesse shot near post this time to make it 11 1. And our opponent is still playing. He's not just put the controller down, he is playing and he is playing. He's fighting for everything he's got. As Marnie again goes past his defenders and just a low driven, it's saved. Rashford picks up the rebound and makes it 12 1 in the 60 second minute what what can i say this guy i thought was going to give us a game just didn't do anything a sloppy defending there from us as uh, rashford swings a ball in and roberto Firmino nods that home to make it 12-2 not like it's going to make a big difference to the score line marnie into rashford back into marnie and again low driven marnie puts it in the back of the net 13-2 and what a way to win the division 10 title and that does wrap up the division 10 title for us a nice four goals from Mane from six shots Rashford with all the other goals I believe it was perhaps Lallana did pick up one and tens all around there for the front three we did now it is confirmation of us picking up the division 10 title we pick up 3055 coins for our troubles and we go and move on to division nine but, as you can see now, these are the squad battle games that we did play. We picked up wins after wins after wins, and we were playing on professional, and some games we played on world class, just to get them points up. And we did manage to win every single game in this first part of our squad battles, as you are seeing on the screen now. Some good teams, some not so good teams, but we were picking up the five goal threshold, every time but we are conceding sloppy goals as we go in to the balde diao spc simple and cheap this one's from rome is we get a jumbo a jumbo gold pack i think it is and then to monaco again another one nice and cheap get that sent in and we do pick up a couple of packs here and it's an all players pack for doing it so in the first pack i don't believe we get a flash but we do get a non-rare, which we go ahead and skip. Everything is going into the club. As you can see, we are making big money. We're up to 368k as we open our jumbo gold pack. And again, I don't believe this was a flash. I, bu I believe it was a rare. No, it wasn't. It was a non-rare. Again, everything gets sent to the club because it can be used for SBC fodder. And if I can give you any advice, rare managers, if they don't sell for a lot, quick sell them because they go for about 260 coins and that isn't bad for a manager as we pick up our first set of rare players at this time it's a cam from Fernabachi it's Potok and again he'll go sit in the club he'll be used in an SPC as and when it is needed and everything else will go into the club and what we don't want is quick sold now we've got a two rare gold players pack which I believe I did from an SPC and this again wasn't a flash but i think it was something of some significance no it wasn't this one i think shows why sometimes doing them isn't a great idea them to go into the club and this is i believe thursday's sbc squad battles again picking up a thousand points to 1100 point per game and that is giving us a healthy healthy lead on the elite now i always strive to aim for elite three that's where i finished in the last two weeks and that's comfortable for me it's twenty thousand coins a jumbo premium gold pack a premium gold players pack and a rare gold pack and this week we get a kit but i don't know if there's less people playing because the weekend league has started but we are going for elite two now we're sitting in a good place for Elite 2, as I'm recording this video, this is again a team we played on world class, struggled to win, but we did pick up the win, and we got 1,400 points for doing so. Um, you will see in this set of clips that we did pick up a loss. Now, the loss hurt because 
I just I just couldn't muster anything up and I lost 3-0 which I haven't done in squad battles since I've been playing and that really did sting um, but on the whole that is the only game this week we've lost and I'm hoping to keep that way we have 8 games remaining and I want to keep the win streak alive um, as that was the team that we lost it in. It was a good team. We only picked up 311 points, which I thought was going to just get it. So we did suffer in division um, in Elite 3. But luckily, we have managed to get some really poor teams like that, where we went 6 0 on world class, must I add. And that is helping push us forward. This is the last set of four games, I believe, which is what I've just literally finished playing before coming to record this commentary and we did come up against some nice teams and a few games we did struggle but we brought on super subs like Mane and um, Ben Yoda which you'll see me pick up in a pack and um, that'll be in Monday's video um, and I believe this was the last game of the day as it finishes 7-1 and we are currently sat on 43,265 points and that is an elite 2 and the threshold for Elite 2 was 39,204. That's around 4,000 points. The next refresh is in 6 hours 12 minutes where I can pick up hopefully another 4,000 points and another 4,000 points. That's going to roughly put me on about 51,000 points which hopefully will keep me in Elite 2 for this week. If we go into Elite 3 it's not a bother but it's the 2 mega packs and the extra 5,000 coins that I really do want to pick up this week. I'm currently sat on a lot of coins. You will see how we got up to this point in one day's video. But for now, ladies and gentlemen, this is the end of the video. If you have enjoyed this video, please slap a thumbs up on the video. It does help. Subscribe if you're not already, and I'll catch you next time. Peace.